as the intro to the album. Now, that was a piece of music that actually I'd forgotten that I had completely. Generally, I just keep an, a notebook, you know, an audio notebook, and jot down any little tiny moment that occurs to me. You sit and you strum on a guitar and you fiddle around and virtually all of it is stuff that's familiar. And then there's a sort of little moment you think, ah, oh, maybe there's something to this. Now, it's a pretty diverse album, it has to be said, but uh, that's, uh, that's it's no bad thing. I mean, I listen to too many albums where every track sounds pretty much the same as the previous one. Polly's been writing words with me now for 20 years. At the beginning, she certainly th thought that um, it was best for her to be um, trying to work out what I would be saying, to, to be channeled in some way. I think on this album, we've got to the point now where she feels happy to um, use her own voice. If the words are great, they will sound fine coming from me or from her. I had spent a long time making the Animals album and doing the Animals tour, and Previous to that, had done Wish You Were Here and Dark Side of the Moon. And we were spending longer and longer in the studio. An enormous amount of care went on. There was just a moment at that time where I thought, well, it'd be quite fun to just go into a little studio, stick a couple of amps down with a couple of guys and just practically jam a, an album and see what happens. It's something you kind of get out of your system, really. And I did realize that I do like spending a lot of time and getting things dead right and, and being a mad, obsessive perfectionist. Mm -hmm. It is more important to me that the process is enjoyable and the thought that, you know, a lot of people around the world are listening to it and enjoying it and getting some measure of the pleasure that it's given me uh, is, is, a, is a wonderful thought. <laughs> 